Pep's commissioned by Pepsi, more people preferred the taste of Pepsi over Coke. And Pepsi drinkers had higher IQs than Coke drinkers. That's right, higher IQs. As well, Pepsi drinkers scored with the opposite sex twice as often as Coke drinkers. And Pepsi drinkers got better job opportunities and lived more fulfilling and rich lives, while Coke drinkers had more bathroom mishaps and were cursed by God. Plus, Pepsi drinkers found more loose change between seat cushions. So Pepsi or Coke, you decide. Hi friends. Are you feeling down, depressed, thinking of ending it all? Then why not give me a call here at the Suicide Watch? I'm Roland Grit, and I care. I really do. Suicide Watch is brought to you by Manfred's, makers of Manfred's carp tarts. Whoever thought of putting fish scraps in a dessert pastry? <laughs> Manfred's, that's who. A soul in distress is calling us now. Suicide Watch, you're on the air. I am the Ultra Mind, the most brilliant evil genius in the history of evil geniuses. My sonic activator is aimed at my overdeveloped brain. I'm going to kill myself by turning my cerebellum into a huge turnip. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't do it, friend. Life is rich and full. How dare you presume to dole out gratitude to the Ultra Mind, you simpleton? Now I shall die. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you want to do this to yourself? My mind is so far beyond mortals that no human can comprehend my slightest thought. I can outthink a Commodore 64. I know every answer to the Baby Boomer edition of Trivial Pursuit. I memorize the dialogue to every single episode of Star Trek. Oh, I see. You can't get a girl. Exactly. <laughs> and that is why I intend to turn my majestic brain into putrid vegetable matter. Which reminds me, it's time for a word from our sponsors, Manfred's Foods. Okay, Mom, I'm finished dinner. It's time for dessert. But you didn't touch your fish, Billy. Oh, well, there's one way to ensure a growing boy still gets the protein he needs. Wow! Manfred's carp tarts, they're delicious! And they're made from all the special fish parts that even fishermen never dream of eating. Mm. What's the yummy glazing on top of the tart, Mom? Silly, that Manfred's secret. Manfred's carp tarts are fun to swill. The great new taste that nobody should miss is Manfred's. No scales, no eyes, no fins or gills. Each fish a kiss. It's never it's good. <laughs> Car tarts. The mind that thought that up is almost as diabolical as my own. But now the time has come. My death. A death recorded for all posterity on my Betamax. Hey, friend, no. Are you giving up here? Are you saying that you're not smart enough to get a woman? Not smart enough? I am the Ultramind. I know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I know how to parallel park a Chrysler Imperial. I know how they get the caramel in the caramel bar. Well, that's great. That's great. And don't you think women wouldn't be impressed by that? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you sell yourself short. Impress women? I can impress women. Yes. I can impress the whole world. That's the attitude. I will steal enough money to build my destructo ray. Then I will use it to enslave all of humanity. And dress nice. Girls expect that. <laughs> I'll take Africa. I'll take Asia. I'll take Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I owe you a favor. Just knowing you're going to carry on is all the reward I need. Because it boosts my ratings. No, I insist. When the time comes to annihilate your city, I promise you that your death will be painless. Actually, I would have preferred a case of scotch. But that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Roland Grit, and this has been Suicide Watch, brought to you by Manfred's Carp Tarts. Have you tasted what Manfred's been putting in food lately? <laughs> Here's your daily interest bank book, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Next. Next. Hello? Yes, sir? No, over here. Yes, here. I'm talking to you, wakey, wakey! Excuse me, 
Miss Armstrong. Do you have an extra roll of quarters? I'm all out of quarters at my wicket. Again, Luther? Yes. I must be getting all of the video game at it. Well, here you go, Luther. Thank you. Wow. Was there anything else, Luther? What? Uh, no, no. Why? You're just standing there staring at me. Oh. Uh, can I have a roll of quarters? I just gave you a roll. Right. Right. Well, bye. Next. You. Hello. Over here. Oh. No. Hey, Luther! Oh, hi, Kevin. Hey, what's with you? That's the eighth time today you've gone over to Paula's Wicket for quarters. So it's allowed. You're in love with Paula Armstrong, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Pish, tosh, and nonsense. How could anyone be attracted to a dog like her? Paula, a dog? Don't say that about the woman I love. Oops. <laughs> now you know all about it. I'm so ashamed. You're not going to tell McLean's, are you? Hey, why don't you just ask her out? Oh, she's she's unattainable. She's a goddess. She's everything I ever wanted, except maybe a pony. Oh, go ahead. Ask her. What have you got to lose? Go on. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Okay. Here goes. Um, Miss, Miss Armstrong? Oh, Hello, Luther. You caught me daydreaming. I, I did? Yes. What What about? Uh, you know, the usual things. Yes. My future, a man, a house with a white picket fence. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Hey, what's the matter? I did never work out. I don't have a fence. <laughs> After all that, you didn't ask her? Oh, she wouldn't say yes to someone like me. Look, you never know anything if you don't try. Yes, you do. You know what's going to happen if you try to drop a brick on your foot? <laughs> Go back there, talk to her, and be a man. Be a man. Look, if she can't accept me as I am, then there's no point. Go, go. Go, go. go. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> Miss Armstrong. Oh, what do you want now, Luther? I have to talk to you. Yes. What I want to say is, well, you're a man. No, I'm a man, and you're a woman. Yes. Uh, can I have a roll of quarters? <laughs> Service. Service! That too? Oh, excuse me, Luther. A customer finally found his way to my wicket. Yes, sir. Woman, give me every penny from your bank so I can finance my plans of global domination. <laughs> Certainly. Certainly, sir. Do you have an account with us? I am the Ultramine. What do I need a daily interest account for when I can use my scoop ray to scoop up all the money in your bank? Oh, oh no, stop him, Luther, he's robbing the bank! Oh, me stop him? Well, isn't that the loan officer's job? With this money and the credit left on my visa card, I will enslave the world! Help someone! And you will be my queen at my side to witness it. Who, me? I'll never let you take me, never! With my kidnapple beam, I can do whatever I want. As long as I don't pause to consider the moral implications. <laughs> Goodbye, you fools. I shall escape now on my escapable machine. Bye. Bye. Hey, Luther, what happened? Ultramind just robbed the bank. He's taken the woman I love. But there's one thing he can't take away from me. I still have a roll of quarters. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm Mr. Synopsis. I'm bringing you the latest update on the story of Luther and Paula and the evil Ultramind. So far, Ultramind has used his kidnapple rays to kidnap old Paula Armstrong. He wants to make her fall in love with him. Poor Luther already loves her, and now he doesn't know how to get her back. Also, I paid off my mortgage, and I now own my house. Oh, when I bought this tie. It's 12 bucks, but hey, I'm worth it. Also, the Frantix album is out, and it's available from CBC Enterprises. That's all I have to say. I'm just a narrator voice with a stupid name like Mr. Synopsis. Sure, life is cruel. But it's a little more bearable when you have your own tie. Oh, yes, and another thing. Uh, Ultramind has dropped a thermonuclear bomb on a city just to prove he's evil and in with the Libyans. Thank you. <laughs> more later. Bye for now. Meep, 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 meep. 
Down, boy, down, down, I say. Your master is home from the bank. <laughs> oh, all right, Llewellyn. You be a good little shrew, and I'll open you a can of food. <laughs> Now, what would you like? Ants? Worms? Slugs in their own slime? <laughs> oh, Llewellyn, you're a finicky shrew. <laughs> Here you go, Llewellyn. Your favorite cut worm ice cream from Manfred's. That's right, Llewellyn. You just eat up. Don't you worry about me or about poor Paula Armstrong, kidnapped by the Ultramind. Oh, I shouldn't even think about it. I wonder what he's doing to her. Something evil and, and dirty. Why couldn't that be me? Curse you, Ultramind. I hope you develop allergies. You've taken away the only woman I ever loved from afar. Luckily, it was a far enough away that she didn't notice and have me arrested. Oh, well, she's gone. It's not the end of the world. I mean, if it was the end of the world, tidal waves would engulf coastal cities. Actually, it's nothing like the end of the world. It's just Paula. Paula. She was like a dream. I'd be floating and monsters would chase me and then I'd be in a room with no pants. <laughs> It was fun working at the bank like that. <laughs> But then I'd wake up and my pillow would be inside my pajamas. <laughs> Love makes you feel funny things. Unless your girlfriend won't let you. And I don't even have a girlfriend not to let me. What would my life be like without love, drink, and sex? Probably like Michael Jackson's. Me, 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 me. Oh, all done, Llewellyn? You know, I envy you. Love is simpler for animals. They don't have to learn to dance. I see you've eaten all your cutworms. 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 Everything reminds me of Paula. Me, me, me. No, you're right, Llewellyn. I, I shouldn't just sit around the living room feeling sorry for myself. I should go into the bedroom and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> you're right. I should rescue her. I've got a flashlight. <laughs> But is that enough? <laughs> no. I'll need to find a superhero to help. Look, here's an ad for a superhero's hideout. The Superior Being Tavern. Come along, Llewellyn. <laughs> Wow. Look at all the superheroes, Llewellyn. Here comes Rockman from the Fabulous Four. He looks even stronger in person. Hey, are you a superhero? Uh, uh, me, yes. I'm a, I'm, I'm Shrew Boy. I can turn into a midget shrew at will. Prove it, or I'll tweak your head off with my pinky. Okay, um, oh, look over there. Something good, interesting. Really, look over What? there, boy. Where, where? I don't see nothing. Llewellyn, where? Uh, I'll put you down here while I hide where? under this table. Oh, whatever it was, it's gone. <laughs> Hey, you're a shrew! That's the most useless superpower I've seen since Inside Out Man! Hey, invisible chick, you gotta see this! While he isn't looking, I'll scoop up Llewellyn and... What is it, Rockman? Oh, look, the guy looks like a shrew! No, I just changed back. That was great. Let me buy you a drink, Shrew Boy. Okay. Hey, bartender, set us up. There you go. Tube of ether for Invisible Chick, rocket fuel for you, Rockman, and a grub on the rocks for Shrew Boy. Oh. Thanks. Oh, this ether really goes to my head. Hey, Invisible, you're getting distracted. We can see you. Oh, whoopsie. There, I'm Invisible again. You're naked. So? Well, I always thought you had clothes on that turned Invisible with you. Oh, come on. Be realistic. So, what brings you here today, Shrew Boy? I need help from all of you uh, fellow superheroes. Yeah, well, you sure picked a bad day. Hey, we just got back from the inverted universe battling the undergods in the black hole. But, but it's important that I talk to everyone here. Hey, everybody, everybody. I can't get their attention. Hey, let, let me. Hey, hands up. Shrew Boy's buying the next round. What? Hey, okay, hey, okay. Hey. Got it. That's the gasoline for the fire boy, some plutonium for fishing man. And what do you have, spider guy? A whole a plate of buffalo style house fly wings, please. Right. Hey, you haven't touched your grub drink, shrew boy. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm nursing it. Now, 
You got to help me. The world is in great danger. Not no bird. Yeah, tell me about it's it. It's true. A villain has kidnapped a bank teller and he's going to wipe out our entire planet. <sighs> Not again. I was hoping for something exciting, but... Point us to a... Then you mean you'll help? Sure, who is he? The Ultramind. Go. <laughs> Well, what do you say, fire boy? Um, I can't. I'm doing a barbecue. I'm the hibachi. Bye. Rock man? Uh, I'm getting sandblasted. Invisible chick? Invisible chick? I know you're here. No, I'm not. You're all scared of the Ultramind. No, no, we're not, not scared. scared. No, no, I would say. We're terrified. Yeah, yeah terrified. terrified. Yeah. Oh, forget it. If you're all too cowardly, I'll go and save Paula alone. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 a drink for the road. So long, wimps. There. Oh, God, I drank a grub. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Synopsis again. Here's the story so far. I just finished a book about the chess strategies of Boris Basti. Does that surprise you? You didn't expect a character named Mr. Synopsis would have outside interests? Well, encapsulating events isn't my whole life. I don't just describe the goings-on of some dumb superhero. I have likes and dislikes, skills and opinions. I have a deep and interesting personality. Unfortunately, I'm just a voice with no body, so I don't get out to parties. But I've got a tie. It costs $12, and someday, maybe even a shoe. Oh, sure, laugh. I can dream, just like Mr. Announcer or Mr. Closing Credits. That's all. Bye for now. Oh, yes, and the evil Ultramind is trying to win the heart of Paula in his Fortress of Solitude. Who cares? <laughs> Chateau Lafitte Rothschild 68. Nothing but the best for you, my dear. Yeah, thanks. What's the matter? Isn't this romantic enough? Wine, candlelight, you and me and my fortress of solitude. But it's so isolated, so boring. The easier to spot any superhero coming to thwart my plans. Your plans, here we go again. For no one can stop the Ultramind, the greatest evil genius the world has ever known. <laughs> Ultramind, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a genius, so I will defeat ya. I'm the Ultramind, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain is one big encyclopedia. I'm the Ultramind, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take over the world. I'm the Ultramind, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell them my stories, girls. He used to be a shipping clerk all day. I ship fish, can you believe it? Shipping on the top of the bay. They would ship it, I would receive it. One day a turbot crate fell on his head. I was one fish smothered dude. The longshoreman thought that he was dead. They forgot that fish was brave. My way out of the pile I gobbled those fish for hours And then I surfaced with my evil smile I'd achieve my Ultramind powers I'm the Ultramind, baby Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna turn the earth into hell I'm the Ultramind, sugar Yeah, yeah, yeah For a shipping clerk, I'm doing quite well I plan to refurnish the world Because he can't get a girl I want to see humanity dead Because he wants to get us in bed I'm the Ultramind, baby, do the Ultramind dance But he ain't getting in our hands I'm the Ultramind <laughs> Ultramind <laughs> Ultramind, even your songs are monotonous. Uh -huh. What's the matter? Can't you handle rejection? My alarm system has sounded. Someone, Someone is approaching my stronghold. Someone's coming to rescue me. Oh, that's flattering. Probably the Federation of Superheroes attempting to thwart my plans of global domination. Oh, where's my compact? I'll do my face. Oh, I must look a sight. I'll just turn on my video screen. Who's that? 
The picture's fuzzy, but he looks familiar. Whoever he is, he will never make it through my defenses. Oh, well, then I won't bother with the eyeliner. He is entering my subdomatic defense barrier. It will douse the flames of any flaming superhero. Hey, he got through that no problem. No matter. This next chamber of death will finish the interloper. My slow-mo beam will slow down any super-fast superhero and reduce him to a puddle of jello. It's just bouncing off him. He's still coming. He is super indeed. But he enters into his doom in my Oprah room, where all his super mutant powers will be drained and fired right back at him. He went right through. What staying power? Ooh, sounds like my kind of a man. <laughs> but it is impossible. Who can it be? You'll find out right now. He's reached the door of this control room. Ah! Hi, folks. It's me. Mr. Canoe Head. And I'm not alone. Look who's scrapped to my paddle. Luther? Yes, Paula. See, we've saved the day. Not quite. That aluminum canoe won't do you much good when I aim my scorch ray at it. What? Yow, my head, it's hot. I need a lake to dip it in. Oh, Luther, save him. Have no fear, Shrewman is here. Okay, Llewellyn, go get him. Ha, 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 Die, canoe head. Oh, oh what's, what's this on my arm? <laughs> a shrew. Ooh. Good work, Llewellyn. He dropped his ray gun. Now stand back, Ultramind, or I'll cook you with your own weapon. Don't shoot. I give yeah. up. Thanks, Luther. You were wonderful. Well, gee, Paul, I did it because I think you're, you're so... I've always loved you for as long back as I can remember. Really? Oh, Paul. Your metallic head, your sexy paddles, your huge keel. I don't have a huge keel. Oh, take me, Mr. Canoe Head. Come, my dear. I know a quiet little pond where I can teach you the J-stroke. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that? After I went to all the trouble of saving her. And no, I went to all of the trouble of kidnapping her. Boy, it's not fair. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, at, at least I still have my shrew Llewellyn. Meep, 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 meep. And at least I still have my dreams of global domination. You know, Ultramind, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Deborah Toppin. The producer of Frantic Times was David Milligan here in the beautiful floating blue orchid.